Okay, application of the state symbols and a few more facts about them. This is the classic equation. S for solid, AQ for aqueous, dissolved in water, G for gas, L for liquid, and AQ again for aqueous, dissolved in water. The rationale, well, that's an ionic compound that doesn't dissolve in water, that's chalk, so that would be a solid. HCl AQ is hydrochloric acid, that's definitely a solution. Carbon dioxide you should know is a gas and, and water is a liquid. And calcium chloride, well that's road salt, and you know that that dissolves when it rains. Now how on earth could you have known all of that? Well, hopefully with two years of IB experience you'll be able to make some judgments on the state symbols. There are no real hard and fast rules though. Now most of this is common sense. Let's look at the spacing. Well obviously solids are closer together for particles than gases. And the shape, well, solids are solid, their shapes don't change. The liquid is the shape of the bottom of the container, and a gas is the shape of the whole container. Most textbooks get that wrong. That's why you're here, though, isn't it? Next. The interparticular forces. So what sort of forces are holding those molecules or particles together? Well, patently, it's stronger in the solid, that's why they're stuck together in a lump, and weaker in the gas, that's why they're free to float around. Kinetic energy, that's another word we can use for speed, so gas has the highest speed there, that makes sense as well. And liquid, well, that's kind of intermediate, where I've left those gaps between those properties. I used to teach them a textbook that gave this as the diagram for a gas. So why is that wrong then? Answer in the comments below.